Hello, welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In our last lesson, I showed you how to create a chart using one keystroke, the F11 key. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to perform some basic editing on your chart. Edit your chart so that it will effectively tell your story. Okay, now that we have created our chart and we made a couple of changes, we changed its type from a column chart, which was the default, to a pie chart, and we changed its location from being on its own separate worksheet to becoming an embedded object on our quarterly summary worksheet. We're now ready to get down to work first thing to do is select the chart. So when we select the chart, the chart toolbar appears. Now, locating different elements on the chart can be confusing at the beginning. The best way to get familiar with the various areas is to use the drop-down menu on the chart toolbar. So for example, if I want to see where the chart title is, I select it on the drop-down menu and it's highlighted on the chart. If I want to see where the legend is, select it and there it is highlighted. Let's move over to the plot area. The plot area is this area which actually contains the background for the chart as well as the chart itself. Let's, now that we've selected it, perform some formatting changes. With this dialog box for formatting the plot area, I want to do two things. I would like to remove the border, make it none, and I would like to remove that 25% gray background. We'll make that a white background. Click OK. Click away. The 25% gray is removed. We now have a white background and no border. OK, now with a pie chart, we are graphing this total here. And rather than showing the numbers, we really want to show what each region represents as a percentage of the whole. So let's select the series total, which is all four of the pies slices, and let's format that series. What we want to do here is go up to the tab that says Data Labels, and we want to see the percentage that each of our regions represents. We'd also like to see the name of the region, so the category name. Click OK, and there we go. We have each of the regions, north, south, east, and west, as well as the percentage that each region represents. Now, one advantage of having your uh, chart on the same worksheet, having it as an embedded object on your worksheet is you can see dynamic changes. So for example, if we discovered an error and found out that the north sales for the fourth quarter were actually 3,500, watch what happens to this pie slice when I hit enter. See how it changes. Now it's 30% of our sales. Okay, now that we've supplied the labels and the percentage, there's really no reason to have this legend. So let's select Select the legend and use the delete key to get rid of it. And now we have a lot more real estate. So let's go over here and let's select the plot area and we'll use our sizing handles to take advantage of that extra real estate that we now have. Okay, there we go. Now, one thing that everyone wants to do with a pie chart is they want to see one or more of these slices explode. Here's how you do it. Let's click away from the chart. Click the chart. Now the first thing we do is we select the pie chart. So we've selected the series total. We've selected all four of the slices. Now we want to see our top region, in this case the north region, explode. So we click that specific slice. So this is not a double click. We first select choose the entire series and then we select the slice that we want to explode. You see the sizing handles around the slice itself and then let's just pull it apart. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Select. So we just have this. There we go. You see how easy it can be to make a mistake there. Okay, now we've uh, changed that. Let's make a little change here to our total. We'll just call it regional Not the most original title, but nevertheless, there it is. Let's just move it up slightly. Okay, we're getting close to printing our report. Now, you may be saying at this point, hey, the chart itself looks pretty good. I'd like to have it on its own sheet. 
does that mean that I have to go and change the location from an embedded uh, worksheet or an embedded object to making its own worksheet? No, you don't. All you have to do is just select the entire chart. And then when we go up into File, Print Preview, you'll see that just because we selected the entire chart, only the chart will print. And now if we want to make some changes in the setup, for example, if we would like to have on the chart not print using the full page, but scale it to fit the page so that we could add a descriptive header and make some margin changes, that's the way to do it. Okay, let's cancel this, close this. So there you have it. We've made some basic editing changes. We removed the 25% gray and the border. We added labels and percentage to each one of the slices. We selected an individual slice and exploded it by moving it away, made some changes to the title, and then to print just the chart, we select the chart, and when we verify it in File Print Preview, since we selected only the chart, only the chart will print. Okay, we'll see you in the next Tips and Time Savers.